Alamo Eye News recently visited the Alameda Park Zoo and got a behind the scenes look of the daily routines of feeding and taking care of the animals. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Bud Weiser, uh, director of the Alameda Park Zoo. We're here in our wonderful walk through aviary. And today we've been uh, having a, a fascinating trip uh, watching what my zookeepers do on feeding the animals. Uh, simply when you have a zoo that we have the absolute responsibility to keep our animals in optimum health. And we spend a lot of time making sure that we are our, our food that we feed to our animals is a healthy, well-balanced, and a very good diet for them. We spend about $50,000 a year uh, to feed the animals here at the zoo. And we do it very efficiently. We actually go to Lowe's grocery store and buy human quality fruits and vegetables every uh, weekend. We buy fresh fruits and vegetables and then we have a whole line of, of uh, commercial products that are made by uh, companies that specialize in zoo food. But we spend about, uh, oh, well I've got one volunteer that takes about two and a half hours every morning just to chop vegetables. And then we have all of the other uh, uh, things that we mix and, and uh, put together for our diets, which takes several people several hours every day. We only feed one time a day, but it's, it's a, a very intensive process every morning uh, to get all of this uh, diets together for 175 different animals with different uh, needs and wants. And my crew is, uh, does an excellent job of uh, taking care of our animals and, and the diets. I've got a really excellent zoo crew that does this every day. And also some people say, oh, it's so much fun being a zookeeper. And this, that is the fun part, I think, is the feeding of the animals. What people don't realize, there's uh, probably 50 stainless steel pans that, have to, that are picked up the next morning and have to be washed, hand washed. So, you know, this, the zookeeping can be a very tough uh, job also. But I think feeding, I think, is one of the most uh, pleasurable parts that, that of our job that we have. It's very rewarding for us to know that we're, we're feeding uh, the proper diets and, and our animals are in good health. Oh, an example of how complex some of our diets are, the otter diets. The otters are, are very high uh, uh, energy animals. So what we put in the otter food is uh, a raw egg, some milk, tomato sauce, cod liver oil, meat, shredded carrots, and she also gets a couple of mackerel on top of that. So all of that is mixed together, and also uh, ferret chow is added to that too, that Purina product. Uh, ferret chow is a, is a complete diet for a high energy animal. And so you can see some of our diets can get pretty complex. You know, like I said, we enjoy feeding the animals, and if you would like to see or get, improve your chances of seeing the animals when we're feeding, usually it's between 11.30 and 12.30. It varies a little bit depending on what happens every day. But if you're here visiting the zoo and you see one of our keepers go by with food in the cart, wave them down, say hi, hi, you know, uh, can, you, can I see what you're doing? They, we're happy to stop and talk about our, our animals' food. We're very proud of our, our diets. And don't hesitate, you're not, you're not slowing us down or anything. We, we love talking about uh, you know, our jobs and, and how well we take care of our animals. Come on down, uh, this winter has been so beautiful. We're open nine to five, seven days a week. Uh, enjoy this wonderful weather. Come, you know, noonish time if you'd like to see the animals feed. And also, whenever you encounter a keeper, you got a question, please just just ask. We'd love to interface with you. So come to the zoo. Come enjoy our zoo.